Okay. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, I was gonna I'm gonna pull on this banner. Like I said, I was gonna do um Red is my priority here. I don't really want Celif. I just want uh, either Mirabilis or uh, Sothis for merges and whatnot. Uh, if not red, then I'll go to blue. Um, blue has uh, legendary Azura, which is just, you know it's always good to have more merges. Um, I want the uh, Peony. More merges on Peony is always good, and there are certain uh, triple mythics. Seems like something they're going to be pushing, so. Uh, I might not just merge her in there, I might just have two peonies and an air or something like that. Um, and Legendary Krom, I don't like Legendary Krom, he's, he's very powerful, um, which is inherently the reason I don't like him. Uh, but yeah, like it's not something I'm very interested in, in like building up or anything like that. Like if he's there, I might use him, I don't know, I don't play, like I said, I don't play Arena very much, so like the fact that he's like a water legendary hero isn't exactly um, that important to me. Um, and neither is um, Celif here. So, like I said, pulling on red for these two. Uh, if I get Celif, I, I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to build him just because like, he's there and he doesn't have a lot, a whole lot of fodder. Um, but yeah, so uh, here, here we go. Uh, so it's going to be it's red, it's red priority, uh, then blue, then probably green after that because I need more Camillas. There's no reds here, so let's just uh, take this blue and get out of here. Okay. I don't know how many um, orbs. Let's uh, stop. I don't know how many orbs I'm, I'm thinking about about going deep. Uh, we'll see how how long it takes to get the first one. Um, green is like green and colorless are like the, the two bottom ones, just because they both don't have anything. Uh, worth very much um, but see that I keep getting uh, anything but red um, uh, yeah like I said like green doesn't have anything very good so hopefully I don't get pretty broken on green but um, okay there you go now it's looking good hopefully I don't get anything uh, that on green but like I could use like I said, I'm still hurting for that last uh, Camilla merge. Here it go. It always it always sucks when you're pulling on red for these banners. I don't know, just like the red pool isn't very good outside of like the legendary or like whatever the main ones there are. Uh, Colorless has her, him, and her. But I might get, like, I could get a Yoon from green. Hey, look, it's a uh, regular Celif. Be kind of interesting, um, this is like Epic 7. Oh, well, I'll be back, I guess. Okay, so, yeah, I'm back. Um, yeah, I just cleared some stuff out. I might have to go back in there again. Uh, I'm not totally sure, but, um, yeah, see how it goes. Uh, I can't remember what I was talking about before I had left. Uh, it might have been something to do with, like, what's coming next. Uh, probably foolish, but I'm still, like, waiting for, um, waiting for Lilina. Summer Lelina to come back. Um, I feel like she's not her banner is not gonna come back. I mean, they usually come back, right? But I feel like that uh, free like summer uh, unit summoning thing that they gave us was like everybody that was in there is like, oh, this is them coming back, and like you know, they just well, like whatever, and, and they left after that. Um, so I don't know. That's the only kind of uh, concern I have. Um, but yeah, like, I might stop, depending on how long it takes me to get the first one, I might stop, uh, oh, great. I was thinking about going two, two five stars in, um, but I'm already, like, 50 orbs down and I haven't gotten a single one yet, so... 
Okay, let's do this. I might just do the whole circle here. Oh, cool, there we go. Uh, so I think I'm gonna do the whole circle here, and I think I'm just gonna go until I get a second five star. Uh, hopefully it's not Celif, but, um... Well, hopefully it's not Celif, and hopefully it's not another, uh, Mirabilis. Uh, this is good. This is, uh, the one I have since it was the, the, the whatever, the, um, whatever, the, the star system or something. I don't know what it's called, the, uh, pity system. Uh, mine was neutral IV, um, mm. but this is good. It's good to have a, um, HP boon. Uh, just, up, it just ups our survivability. Uh, let's just, yeah, let's keep summoning. I'm gonna summon this whole circle. Hopefully I get, like, a Camilla. That would just be the best. Uh, Nevada Prophet, Sophia. Come on. Okay, let's do it. Here's the last one. Wow. There you go. Um, she's one of the weakest... I think, I mean, she, people are always complaining she's like the weakest one. I wouldn't disagree. But I might just leave her here. I mean, I really like Lynn. Grants attack speed plus five. There are people who aren't even like legendaries who have, I think, have this ability just like on their weapon for free without even having to worry about this like idiotic uh, condition. That's hilarious. Um, but she doesn't have very good fodder because like you can't fodder this off. Like again, this here's this thing. It's like this thing's just bad. Like not only that, but like this thing. Like you could just put uh, um, Fury three, and it would be better than this. Sure, you're losing one stat. But you don't have to worry about the stupid uh, condition, as well as it works on both phases, and it puts you in desperation range. Like it's just she's just so weird. Like, she, like the thing is, like, she could get a refine, and it still wouldn't matter because like the, the rest of her kit. Like the, the thing about legendaries is. It's not just the weapon, it's the weapon and their exclusive skills that make them interesting. Uh, a lot of the time, anyway. Um, but like, yeah, like, this is just dumb. Like, it's just bad. I don't know, like, they just did her dirty like that. Uh, she's green blessed, she gives attack, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so like, let's take a look at Mirabilis here. Her weapon is exclusive to her and has her own abilities, and then she has an exclusive ability in uh, Whimsical Dream. So even if all of this stuff here was bad, like, she still has two things that are exclusive to her that you can sort of, like, build around. Lin doesn't have anything, like, you're just gonna, I mean, I, I would, I'd probably just take off, um, whatever her A slot skill was called. Probably just drop whatever was in here, and then give her, like, a Fury. Uh, but yeah, so... So we're back at eight percent. So I think uh, it was seventy to get here. I think I'll just uh, pull to see if I get another one. Um, so though now the uh, the summoning is a little weird because I don't want another Mirabilis and I don't want um, Celif. I just want a Sothis. Um, okay. I just kind of want a Sothis. Oh, well, I got him. So, I think I'm just going to summon this whole circle, because why not? What did I get? So, yeah, like I said, I don't plan on using him. I actually got, like, the worst boon you could get on him, because he doesn't have any speed to begin with. Uh, Disencounter. Like, if I'm going to fodder him, this is all he has is Disencounter. Like, oh, he has this too, I forgot. Um, so, yeah, I can, you know, you can fodder him. But the only reason you'd fodder him is to, like, score higher in Arena. And, like I said, I, I really don't care about Arena, so... I might just leave him here. Have him hanging out. Yeah, so... Uh, I'm gonna pull... Let's try this green here. <clears throat> nope. I just need one Camilla, he's just like, you never get him when you need him. Let's pull on this blue and see what this gives me. Uh, 
Uh, so I'm still at 8%. I think I needed that last one to go further. Um, let's just try some more. Wow, this is horrible. Uh, let's just—I'm gonna do all these blues here. Cause I'm, at, the, at the point I'm at, I'm, I'm, uh, at this point, I'm more like the blue and the red are about equal priority because I already got the mirror list that I wanted. And while I want—I do want a Sothis merge. It's like getting a Sothis merge isn't as important as maybe getting like a Peony merge at this point, or maybe having like a second Azura. I actually had two Azuras. I, I uh, merged one into the other, which was kind of dumb, but. So of course I didn't get anything this time. I think my barracks is full again. Oh, I don't know. Uh, so this is a perfect circle. I'm just gonna pull all five of these. Uh, Bantu. Uh, Ferdinand. I don't know who this guy is. What does he have? He's got repositions, so that's valuable right off the bat. Rouse. That's pretty interesting. I'm gonna get another Celif watch. Aries. Stormy Flyer. So, like I said, I already got two. Um, going further is kind of like a waste of orbs, especially, like I said, I, I'm waiting for like the um, Lina banner to come back, but... Oh, well, like I said, I'll be back then. Okay, so we're back. Uh, that's like the, that's one of the worst parts about summoning in this game is like having to go into your barracks and just like do a bunch of dumb shit. Um, oh, there you go. So I got everything I wanted out of this banner. Um, Except for the Sothis, obviously, but I think uh, this should be fine. So I'm just going to pull in this full circle, and then that, that's going to be it for today. Um, yeah, I think I kind of like that, and I kind of dislike that. Like, obviously, the, the, the me that's in the moment and has to do all that stuff, obviously, you, you dislike it in the while you're doing it. Um, but sort of, you know, you take you take a step back, and, you, and you, when you think about it, um, and you're more, like, aware and conscious of these things, I really do like the, um, how annoying that is, and I like that it's there, um, along with a bunch of other things. Uh, Fire Emblem, more than any other, like, gacha game I've played, and I've played quite a few of them, their summoning system is so atrociously bad. It's so, like, physically offensive to, to do that I just, like... I've mentioned this in I think a few of the other summoning videos. Is I just I hate doing it no matter what. Like it always there's no you never feel good doing it um, because of like like I said you have to go in you you think about oh the inventory you have to deal with that um, you know you're like you're wasting a bunch of orbs to get nothing because there's no real pity um, you only pull five at a time and you never get orbs that you want you always get the orbs you don't want um, so it's all these things it's like. Fire Emblem really does a good job at making the summoning process just a, a overall a miserable experience. And I really do like that because it, it takes... Like, the summoning process should be the worst part of this game because summoning... It, you're just gambling, right? Like, you're... you're that's it. You're, you're gambling. And I, and I like the fact that it makes the gambling part um, so undesirable to do it's not something that like they're trying to get you hooked on the gambling like I, I mean some people do right if you have enough money and all that stuff um but i, I you know i don't spend any money oh, i didn't show the uh the orbs thing um i guess i could show it now but you know i already spent a bunch of orbs so those could have been pay to win orbs or whatever um but anyway like for most people like we don't you know like to buy a bunch of orbs I mean, you know it's not something we do uh i'm just glad that this uh this game, like, discourages the gambling mechanics to the point that it can. Like, as much as it can, it, it does. Um, so yeah, I mean, whether that's intentional or not, who knows. Um, probably not a very good business model to discourage people to do the thing that, like, literally makes you money. But, um, yeah, I don't know. If it isn't, if it is, uh, is it customer support? Yeah. 
If it is, see 256, um, like I said, I mean, you know, uh, I try to show this, but uh, for, for all you know, that those first like 100 and something orbs could have been paid for. Um, but uh, as always, uh, I don't buy orbs or anything. The only thing I buy is the Fae Pass because it's like the only thing that has any value in it. Um, at some point, I might make like a. Like Acarus about a week ago made his like state of the game uh, video, like three years in and all that. Um, I I might make something like that. I'm not. I mean, obviously, there's there's no one on this channel. It's just me <laughs> talking into the uh, into the wind here. Um, but I I'm I'm nothing if not a tiny Acarus wannabe. Uh, so I might make that make something like that just from like a different angle. Uh, Acarus has been at the top the entire the entire time. Um, since it game, since like, as long as you could be at the top of, I mean, I don't know, he's probably not number one, right? But, um, he's been at the top around the, like, the upper echelons since the game came out. Uh, so it's a different perspective from someone who's been with the game sort of casually and only, um, about like a year in has, has really started ch trying to push for the top and all these things. Um, so I think, you know, the perspective there might be a little different, especially, uh, like for other newer players like Acarus He has like yeah, I don't know I might talk about it in that video, but um, It's important to realize that his perspective is going to be vastly different from like anybody else's um, I, I think you know, yeah, anyway, but yeah, that, that's that uh, again. I have the uh, I'll have the uh, Where is she? You know, you think it'd be... I put sorted, so you think it'd be... Obtained. She'd be up there. Like I said, I mean, I have a plus one merged uh, peony. Uh, I have to think about whether or not I'm going to um, merge her in there or just run three, uh, three mythics. It could be useful since uh, peony, I have her for... It could be useful to have one team with three mythics because I do have a, a, quite a bit of uh, team variety in, in uh, light season because uh, light is peony and air. Um, you don't get—I don't think you get any more lift, but it'll be good for like making um, making Loki more more tanky. It. it yeah, it might be like I might have it there as a team option, just because like I'm sure as you all know, it's, you don't always want your CC vantage unit to have uh, such high HP, um, just because it gets it harder to put them into uh, vantage range. And I think uh, some of my some of my uh, one of my Aether Aids videos, it's it, it's probably been showed off at least once in one of my Aether Aids uh, things. Um, but. It's, it's less important for my account and the way I do it, because I do it the sort of, like, I don't know, the green way, you know what I mean? Like, the very inexperienced way, the the, the not as efficient way, because the efficient way is your CC Vantage unit goes in there. Um, it doesn't really... The, the health on a, on a real, like, you know, quote, real CC Vantage unit is irrelevant, because when you're in CC Vantage range, once you get it down to that range... Um, you should just be one-shotting people back and not have to worry about things like um, surviving or, or taking counterattacks and all that stuff. Uh, but the way I do it is kind of like, if that if I get the one-shot counter, that's great. Uh, but a lot of times I'm not expecting to get it, so uh, she has to sit there and tank. And that's not, you don't, you really want to do everything in your power to avoid what the way I play it, because um, it, it's a larger margin for error. Um, yeah, so, uh, like I said... It, the having the extra HP is kind of useful. Might be useful on on for the way I play, but uh, in general, it's not something you uh, like. Most people should strive towards or, or to, to to be better anyway. Um, to be better, you want to like really strive for the other end of the, the spectrum of just like like Cronia is a good example of like she has high HP, but it's not really valuable because she should be one shotting everything. You should do everything in your power to make sure um, you set her up in a way so that she can just vantage one shot anybody that comes at her uh, which is why when you're running Cronia you need to really focus on um, the healing tower as well as like getting rid of any um, whoever has the hardy bearing effect on their team uh, but she has good stats she has good enough stats that 
as long as she one shots everybody, most of them, and like maybe the Hardy Bearing unit, if you couldn't reach it or something, um, if you can reach the Hardy Bearing unit, then hopefully she has enough stats to survive that. Uh, but you don't really want to be putting yourself in too many situations where you take that. But yeah, like I said, uh, it's going to be uh, probably a long fought debate with myself whether I should murder. I don't know how much lift I'll get from like one extra merge on a peony. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for today. Hopefully uh, you guys all pull whatever you wanted. I, I got everything I wanted, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, well, yeah.